Hey guys, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil's Computer Lab. Another video to do with the 486. Remember, I'm doing more videos now based on one topic, so do check out my previous videos. I've done a video benchmarking a couple of Visa Local Bus and Isaac graphics card on a 486DX33. Now the 486DX33 is not bad, it's a good machine, but in my opinion at least, the 486 to me is the DX266. That chip was a real game changer. Now 3D games do run on the slower 486, but in my opinion a lot of the classic early 1990s uh, 3D games really shine on a DX266. What is unique about this chip is it's the first chip that uses the clock doubling technology. The external bus still runs at 33 megahertz, but internally the processor operates at 66 megahertz. And we're going to have a look at some benchmarks and uh, the charts will be, I'll just put them in the video and you can see that the performer performance almost doubles. It doesn't double uh, exactly 100%, but it's pretty close. And in terms of gameplay, it's almost the difference between 15 and 30 FPS. Doom, in my opinion, is really playable on a DX266. Before that, it wasn't really playable. You had to maybe reduce the details or uh, make the window a little bit smaller. But on a DX266, it is pretty smooth. Maybe you have to adjust the window a tiny little bit for some of the busy scenes, but uh, you'd, you'd be a happy camper if you had a DX266 back in the day. What else is there to talk about? The DX266 that I have is a simple drop-in replacement. It runs off the 5 volts and the BioStar motherboard that I'm using is not, uh, does not support multiple uh, voltages like the 3.3 volt that some of the newer processors support. So it's a very compatible chip and the BIOS also fully supports it. It gets properly identified in the post screen. The test system is exactly the same as in the previous video based around the BioStar MB1433 motherboard with 8 megabytes of RAM and 256 kilobytes of cache. The graphics card is the Visa Local Bus a video card with the Cirrus Logic chip, the GD5426. I'm going to use this setup going forward with the uh, next few videos. Um, I'm not going to say too much, but I've got lots of videos in store to do with benchmarking, but also with MIDI and some sound card actions, but also a few tutorials based around MS-DOS. That's it for this video. Short and sweet. This is the 486DX266. What is your opinion of this processor? Have you had one? Are you still using it? What is your favorite processor? Are you into one of these uh, Cyrix or 486 DX4s from Intel or AMD? Let me know and also let me know what interests you to do with the 486 stuff. Maybe I can do uh, a quick video about the topic that interests you. As always, leave me some comments down below and I'll see you soon in another video.